Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure Zebix 7.0 LTS version on Oracle Linux 9. But the process is same on Oracle 8 also. Okay, so first open browser. First go to Zebix official website that is zebix.com. See Zebix 7.0 LTS now available for download and it is the all-in-one open source solution that lets you monitor anything. So, it, it is used to monitor network and server infrastructure, cloud deployments, API and websites, services and applications, IoT devices and sensors. Want to explore more features? You have to click on this explore more features. Explore JVX features. And these are the top companies that are trusting JVX. Okay. So, click on download. See here we have the JVX packages. Jbix Cloud Images, Containers, Appliance, Sources and Agents. You have to click on Jbix Packages. Then, see here we have the Jbix version 7.0 LTS. This is the latest one. And in OS distribution, we have to select the Oracle Linux. Click on it. See you. The versions are like from 6 to 9.0. Then select the ver OS version 9. Then select the Jbix component. See you. So, I am going to install Jbix Server, Frontend and Agent. Then database, we can use either MySQL or PostgreSQL and web server, Apache or Nginx. So in this video, I am going to use MySQL 8.0.3 but not the 8.4 and we are going to use Apache web server. And one more point at the time of making this video, 8.4 or later versions of MySQL won't support for JVX 7.0. Okay. So we are going to install MySQL 8.0.3. 3.6 or 3.7 are lesser versions. Okay. So, the prerequisites are MySQL and Apache and PHP. It is not here, but I will show you how to install the PHP and its extensions. Okay. So, first we will install MySQL, then Apache, then we will install the PHP. Okay. So, first install the MySQL. Click on activities, open terminal, sudo dnf install MySQL server hit enter then provide the password see it is going to install mysql version 8.0.36 again confirm the version 8.0.36 or 37 type y and hit enter See, we have successfully installed MySQL 8.0.36. Now we have to start enable and connect to MySQL server. sudo systemctl status MySQL D. MySQL D is the service name. Hit enter. See, MySQL service is disabled and it is not running. Okay. You to quit. Control L to clear screen. Let us enable it. sudo systemctl enable MySQL D. Hit enter. Let us start it. sudo systemctl start mysql d. Let us verify sudo systemctl status mysql d. See, now mysql service is running and it is enabled. Now connect to mysql, q to quit, control l to clear screen, sudo MySQL, hit enter, see we have installed MySQL server version 8.0.36. Now set the password for root account, alter user root at the rate localhost identified by view the password, hit enter, exit. Now connect to MySQL with root account hyphen u root hyphen p then give the password here password is this is the password i have given okay so we have successfully installed my s one prerequisite match fit or exit control l to clear screen next we have to install the apache that is apache 2 that is httpd and php extensions see this is the command to install apache and 
PHP extensions. Okay, I will keep this command in the video description. Hit enter. Type away for confirmation and hit enter. See here. See here it is installing Apache version number 2.47. And these are the PHP versions. Okay. Type away for confirmation and hit enter. We have successfully installed HTTP D that is Apache web server. Now we have to check whether HTTP D service is started or not. Control L to clear screen sudo systemctl status HTTP D. See it is disabled and not started. So we have to start and enable it. sudo q to quit sudo systemctl enable HTTP and hit enter then sudo systemctl start HTTP now verify again see HTTP service that is Apache HTTP server is started and enabled okay Q to kit now we have to start the same sudo systemctl start PHP hyphen FPM. FPM then enable it see it is disabled so enable it it is done control L to clear screen okay so prerequisites database system and web server installed and configured now we have to install JBX server front end and agent. Okay. So one more time you cross check. We have to select JBX 7.0, then Oracle Linux, then OS version. If you are unable to show what is the OS version that we have connected, give more slash etc OS hyphen release. Here we, find, we can find the version. See it is 9. Okay. Control N then server components then select the database as mysql if you have installed postgresql you have to select this one if you select this one here com commands will be different see we have the commands for postgresql okay so based on the selection we will get the commands to install the jbx 7.0 lds okay then select the web server as apache see once we selected we will get these commands first one is we have to install and configure the jbx so copy this file if it is not there it will create sudo vi paste it hit enter press i to insert mode then copy this one copy paste it save the file wq exclamation and hit enter then we have to install jbx repository copy it then you sudo paste it hit enter it is success if you want to clean repositories you have to run this one otherwise it is optional then point p we have to install jbx server okay so copy all see it is going to install jbx front end and server okay so copy it give the sudo and paste it hit enter type by see here version numbers 7.0 okay so type and hit enter see we have successfully installed jbx server now we have to create initial database in mysql so these are the commands first we have to connect it then we have to provide the password password for root is that we have set at the time of installation of mysql okay so mysql hyphen u root hyphen p hit enter then provide the password hit enter 
I have successfully connected. Now we have to run these commands one by one. So we have to copy from here. Okay, the first one it is going to create database. This is going to create user. This is going to create grant permissions and it is going to set the global variable. Okay, so copy this one. Don't copy this MySQL. Okay, copy from this create SQL database. Paste it, hit enter. It is created. Let us verify. Show databases. See new database. JVX is created. Now create user, copy this one. See, it is going to give the password as password only. If you want to give the some other password, you have to replace. Just paste here and use replace. But I'm okay with the password, then hit enter. Copy this one. Grants, okay. Then set the global variable. Copy it, paste it, hit enter. Then fit. This is done. Now we have to run this command to import the data and schema. Schema and data. Okay, copy it, paste it, hit enter. Then provide the password of this this password. Whatever the password here we have given. I have given the password, so I am giving password only. Hit enter. It is done. Now we have to disable this global setting by giving one. See, this is the same. So connect to MySQL again. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. Copy this one. Paste it. Hit enter. Fit. All done. Next step is we have to configure the database for JBIG server. So we have to go to this JBIG server configuration file. Control L, sudo, vi, use whatever the editor that you are comfortable. Hit enter. Search for db caps password. See here we have the db password equals to. So remove the hash, shift A, give the password. We have given the password as password. And this is the DB username. Okay. Save the file. Now, setting after setting password, we have to restart JBIC server agent and PHP. Okay. And Apache web server. So, copy all these commands. Copy it. Use sudo. Paste it. Hit enter. It is done. The first one, it has restarted these services. Now, Anyway, we have enabled these two services. Okay, so anyway, copy this one and enable. Hit enter. Oh, I forgot to give sudo. That's why it is asking password. Give the password. It is done. So until now we have configured the JBX. Now open another tab. Then give this link. Now we are going to configure the JBX front end. So copy, paste it here. Post host is host name of this machine give the host name see host name is local host only or you can give ip okay if config you can give ip or give the local host both will work so i am giving local host hit enter see this is a jbix welcome screen so click on next see here all are okay which means all prerequisites match so click on next step then here select the database type as mysql and database host is see we have installed database on this machine so database host name is also same and port number is double three double three zero six database name is jbix username also jbix because see here we have given database name as jbix and username also jbix okay then Provide the password. Password is password. See here we have given the password. Okay. So click on next step. Don't save. Then 
JVX server name is localhost because we have installed JVX on this machine only. Then select the time zone and theme, default theme. So I'm going with blue, then click on next step. See, this is the pre installation summary. If you are okay with all the settings, you have to click on next step. Otherwise, click on back and you can configure. Okay, so click on next, click on next step. See, we have successfully installed JVX front end. Click on finish. Now, give the Username as caps A D M I N. If you give small case A, it won't work. It will throw error. So we have to give this one. Then provide the password. Password is JBX with all small cases. I will keep this username and password in the video description. Then click on sign in. See, this is the JBX dashboard. See here system information JBX server is the server is running and version is 7.0. You want to change the password click on users then click on again users then click on this admin username see this is the name and this is the username so and this is the user last name and if you want to change the password you have to click on this change password click on it then here we have to provide the current password current password is Zebix and we have to provide new password okay so I'm not going to change just I'm showing you after providing you have to click on update so I'm canceling this one, cancel, update, and we have the different options like dashboards, monitoring services, inventory reports, and data collection. If you want to create user, you have to click on create user. So in this video, we have seen how to install and configure JBIX 7.0 LTS on Oracle Lens. For more JBIX or monitoring, video, monitoring tools, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.